What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. <laughs> you can do what you want to live, how you want to spend, what you want to be, who you want to be. Play on stutter to the D.I.P. Tell Joe Byron right now. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. <laughs> Y'all are seeing me in my Raj truest form with a cup of morning tea. It's kind of warm at this point because I forgot it was sitting right next to me. You must have self respect. Only then can you respect somebody. That's so true. Today I am editing um, the current vlog that you're watching right now. Um, I don't know when this is going to be up because. I've just been having a hard time vlogging. I've been editing this vlog and writing in my planner for the month of December. Let me see, what's my what's my theme? So as y'all know, it's the last month of the year and the monthly theme is finish strong. Finish strong. And I already got my monthly goals. That probably looks dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> That probably looks dangerous, but I promise it's fine. That top of the shelf is like high enough to where the heat from the candle isn't overheating the projector in my uh, PS4. I came on here to talk to y'all about something and I completely forgot. Like it was obviously worth me going all the way upstairs to get my camera and come talk to y'all down here. But I can't remember. Honestly, I'm just sitting here rambling, trying to hope that the thought that I had earlier will come back, but it's not. So just know today I'm gonna be editing, um, coming up with more content ideas and writing my planner. That's pretty much it. It's the next day, ain't nothing going on. I just wanted to come on here and show y'all I got this pack in the mail, you know what I'm saying? I need something to open it with. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all the pieces in another video, but I just wanna open it right now. Ow, to see. Bro, <laughs> based off the sound of this, I already know what I got. I already know. I already know. Ugh. Okay. Always oh, three pieces in here. I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. She's a charmer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We got them. What else we get? Oh! <laughs> Matching necklace. Yes, ma'am. Not them with the hookup. Hmm. Nah, I gotta show y'all a sneak peek of this, cause beach. This the one. This the one that I wanted. I was not expecting them to send me three pieces. I thought it was only gonna be one. I mean, not one, but two. It's the it's the watch bracelet for me, like. And I don't I don't mess with bracelets, cause like my wrist is so small, and the bracelet just be like, it be like this on my hand. I don't like that. So the fact that they sent this, literally. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what? What? Come on now. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One time for the one time. I got to pull out the drip, you know? I only wear this on, like, special occasions. It don't got to be... Oh. It don't got to be special, but, like... When I just be stepping out, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing, like, gold accents, and I want to match it with gold jewelry... You know what I'm saying like this the piece. This is a Mavado watch, not sponsored. Is these goals different? Yeah, they kind of yeah they different, but the shade of gold this is from my watch is not really matching up. But you know what I'm saying, y'all y'all got the vision, y'all got the picture. Like my arms so hairy. I was on the site choosing the pieces I wanted to show off and like I did I I didn't think they was gonna send me this one because like normally my top couple pieces that where do I put this? Oh my top um couple pieces that I want I usually don't get and that's okay because like whatever they send me instead is always like you know what I'm saying it's still satisfying but the fact that I got what I wanted oh yes yes ma'am who do you know who do you know who what's this oh let me hold on I can I'm thinking this is like extra links to this but I'm not gonna open it because I still gotta film the uh sponsorship video so so we hope you'll like our new aura bracelet as much as we do. I love it. Just in case the fit isn't perfect, we've included some additional links. Okay. Yeah, I figured. But yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and uh, talk to y'all about today because there is nothing else going on. So, I'm finna go be a lay down. Yes, be a lay down. Four things. One, I'm sorry that this vlog is not giving what it was supposed to have gave, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot going on for me, and I'm trying to prepare for that the best way I can. I know what I wanted to tell y'all that day when um I was in the living room talking to y'all, and I was looking rough. So, my fish died. Um, He didn't die yet, but he was on the verge of dying. So, one day, I noticed that my fish was like, he wasn't doing what a fish was supposed to do like swim around and shit so i'm like okay so i tap on the glass and normally he swim away but he just stuck there i'm like are you dead so i shook the tank a little bit <laughs> i shook the tank a little bit and he started moving i'm like okay okay so i put some food in the tank for him and he didn't even swim to it in that same spot still i'm like damn so i got me a little cup I scooped him up out the tank. He started freaking out then when he saw that cup. But I got him out the tank. I don't see this as animal cruelty. If it is, I'm sorry. It's my first pet. Like, I scooped him out the tank. And I put one little uh, food pellet in there too. And, you know, I gave him a very beautiful, loving uh, eulogy. Um... You know, I let him know that I'm sorry that I couldn't be the best caretaker for you. I let him know that, you know, he provided me with so much joy and comfort. I remember when I first got him, like, yeah, I was happy to have some type of life form in my presence. Um, yeah, 
you know, we just reminiscing and shit. And then I flushed him down the toilet along with uh, a piece of food for the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, he's dead. Um, I'm not going to get another fish. The next pet I'm going to get is definitely going to be a Shih Tzu. I want a Shih Tzu. Of course, I will do better taking care of it because it's like that's something more serious, you know, like that's damn near another person. So I say sometime later down the road, I definitely want a cat. I've never been a cat person, but I think cats are so funny. They are so conniving and devious and mean. It's funny. I only want a cat now because I've been seeing a bunch of TikToks with this one in particular cat. It's so cute to me. Their face is naturally just like bitchy. Like, it's so bitchy that it's cute. Like, you ever seen a baby frown? You're like, oh, what's up? Like, yeah. Later on down the road, I'm going to get me a cat and make sure that it gets along with my dog okay so we talked about three things so far and now the fourth thing if you're not a spiritual aspect type of person this next part ain't for you because you gonna think i'm crazy last night right i fell asleep at like 12 something i just woke up out of nowhere but my physical body didn't wake up it just sounds so silly when i say my soul woke up like what the fuck my my spiritual being woke up and I opened my eyes and like I tried to like move my arm and I I moved my arm but it wasn't my physical arm it was the spirit arm and I looked at it it was so cute I got a cute soul like <laughs> it was invisible but I still saw it and you know how you move something and it has glitter on it and you see like the little sparkles? That's exactly what it was looking like. But at the same time, it was still like that invisible force field structure looking type of thing. And I'm like, wow. I remember literally like just getting up, like kind of ripping away from my body so I wouldn't get like sucked back in. Cause I was just feeling bold. Cause usually when shit like that happens to me, I'd be scared and I'd be like, wake up, wake up, wake up. So I just tore away from my body and I'm on the floor and I'm like, why do I feel so heavy? I just felt like a strong, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it was because I was so close to my body that it was some type of magnetic pull going on but every time I tried to move forward it was kind of like I was trying to uh, move against like a strong ass resistant band basically that's how I can explain that I was talking to myself in my mind like come on keep pushing and I push <laughs> y'all I was on a mission I was trying to like I was trying to go out the window and I just remember crashing into the blinds and I'm like oh shit did my neighbors hear that and I'm thinking like, okay, if I wake up and this shit is really like this, I might freak the fuck out. So I went from the window, like crashing into the window to knocking over this little shelf I got over here and all the shit on it. And I'm like, yo, how am I making this much noise? And I'm like, I'm supposed to be going through shit. I don't understand. So I feel like how was I able to do that? Like, how was I able to like crash into stuff as if it was my actual physical body? But I remember the last time I actually went through a wall. So it's like, what was stopping me this time? Like, was it kind of like a mental blockage in my mind? Just knowing in the back, like you can't actually go through this window. So you're not going. But the last time I actually went through a wall. So. So then I actually tried to get back into my body and I just remember like being on the floor and like looking up and my bed just looked so high, like high up, like damn, how I'm gonna get all the way up there and I can't even like, I could barely walk right now. The next thing I know, I feel my physical body moving my fingertips and my toes trying to gain, regain feeling and wake up physically. So once I got a feel for doing this while my body was asleep and my mind was awake, I woke up in the physical. It's crazy because with astral projection or outer body experience, whatever you want to call it, if you're separate from your body, I always thought that you had to come back to it to try to wake your physical body up. I didn't think like it was that connected to the point where my 
spiritual being could be all the way across the room and my body in over here and like I have the power to just wake up like that without having you know what I'm saying like at least that's the impression that I'm under because that's kind of what happened like I was on the flow I couldn't get up <laughs> and my body was in the bed so that's just very interesting to me but I don't I don't know why that happens I really don't and I'm really intrigued and I know when it happens because I feel my body is paralyzed when I'm asleep but my mind my consciousness all the spiritual doings inside of me is awake I'm just really surprised though because usually I be scared when that shit happens like I don't know like I feel like if I was to open my spiritual eyes when that happens, I'm just going to see something that I do not like and I'm going to be traumatized to the point where I would be scared to be in my own space, basically. But I don't know. That was different because how one time I can go through a wall, but this time I'm sitting up here crashing in the blinds and shit. Like, what? And I know some people are probably going to be like, it was just a dream. Bro, that shit was not a dream. Like... If you experience the same thing that I experienced or many others, you would know it's not a dream. That is the end of this vlog. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm sorry that it just wasn't what it was supposed to be. I gave. But next time, I got you. Mm -hmm.